What's up everybody, Bryce here back with another video. Today I wanted to go over um, kind of my EDC line, my everyday carry line, what you can expect to, to see um, on me at any given time um, and what I like to carry day in and day out. Now for my job, I'm not allowed to carry at my job, but I can have a uh, firearm in the vehicle. So I will always at some point have a firearm on me, whether that's in my vehicle or on my person. I suppose we can start out with the belt. Here I have a um, Blue Alpha Gear um, kind of EDC or, or gun belt. Uh, you re I really like the gun belts because they're, they're, they're much stiffer than your typical belt. You, can't, you cannot like, like bend them and that's mainly for when, you're, when, you're, when it's around your waist. Prettier than what you'd see a typical leather belt before your, for your, um, your holster clip. Um, you can see it's got a Cobra uh, buckle, which is really nice. It really makes it easy and quick to, to um, disconnect um, for like when you have to use the restroom or whatever. Very nice quality. Um, I got a 36. Um, I would do, so this fits well. So these belts can go plus two or minus two. So if you're a 34, um, I would at least get a 34 if not a 36 because then uh, you could go down to a 34 from a 36 and up to a 38. Um, so the 36 can go up to a 38 and down to a 34 if needed with this, Avel with this Velcro um, adjustable strap right here. Uh, moving on, this is my uh, Kershaw blade made with 420 HC stainless steel. Um, it's got kind of a cool little, I don't know if you can take a pick it up. There's a cool little flag uh, anodized in there. This is the blue finish. Um, I love this. It's, you can have this, I got this on Amazon literally for like 35 bucks um, shipped with Prime. Um, it's a really sturdy knife. There's no blade play at all, even in the, it's got a stop. So you push that over. It does have a reversible clip so you can carry blade up or blade down. And even when the knife is, I don't know, sheathed, it has zero wiggle in there. It's very, very well made for, for, the, um, for the money. Uh, moving on, I guess we could go to my phone. Um, I'm a total iPhone user. Um, I always have been. I haven't had an Android since, I think, my last Android phone. Actually, I don't even remember having an Android phone, to be honest with you. Um, Big fan of Apple products, I use them, except I, I do have an HP computer. Well, I have a MacBook as well, but I've always been an Apple fa uh, fan as far as cell phone goes. Um, as far as my wallet, here is a, it's a Coach, um, uh, I guess you could say just bifold with with um, all of my cards and, and money or whatever. Um, I do rotate that out between a Trayvax. I do have a Trayvax element that I switch off. It's very minimal. Um, I try to keep this stuff minimal as, 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 as a, if it makes sense, as much on me, but as little space as possible. So um, I typically carry the Trayvax in one of my front pockets because I don't like it in my back pocket, but I'll always carry this in my back pocket, but I'll take it out because I don't really like sitting on it. Um, here's my car keys. Um, I have the RS. You can see, and I literally just have my house key and my car keys on it. I've got a separate kind of key loop with all of my other keys if I need it. Um, and I guess now we could go into the the, the beef of it. Uh, I actually carry, uh, I I rotate for my EDC because I've got, you know, hold on one second. So I actually carry, I have two guns in my carry rotation right now. And the meaning, meaning behind that is I don't have holsters for my Glock 26 or my Glock 43 yet. Roger, I'm waiting on you, buddy. Um, he's got a, he makes a wicked good product and he has quite a lead time right now. I ordered one of them um, a month ago, so I've got about an, another month wait yet. But um, this is just a Concealment Express like carbon fiber cheap holster. I think I paid 40 bucks on this on Amazon to get it to me. And then this, just for the sake of it being video, um, this is my um, so, uh, Springfield XD. Uh, XD9 mod.2 in my EDC rotation. I, I carry appendix. Um, I just think it works best for me. Um, I, you can, I do four o'clock or three o'clock carry this as well, um, just depending on the situation where I'm going. Um, so that's the Springfield. Other than that, I have my Glock 19. Um, well, this has got bullets in it, but the gun is clear. Um, 
in my QVO, uh, and that's quick, violent, over tactical, uh, more discreet. Uh, I have a video about this too. It's the last video I made, and I uh, and this is just a excellent quality holster. I mean, you can just listen to that retention. It's it's amazing. So, um. I'll, I'll have one of these guns on me uh, at any given time, and I'm really waiting for my Glock 43 holster from QBO. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the rundown um, of what you can see in kind of my gear. Um, the Glock 19 is a little bit bigger than the uh, Springfield as far as barrel length. Um, typic or similar thickness. Actually, I think my Springfield is a little bit more. Uh, but the Mod 2 has these textured grips um, that feel really nice in the hand, but they're, they, they're really tough on more of your sensitive skin areas. So I haven't been carrying this as much lately. I've been carrying the Glock 19 and it's, much, it's a much softer kind of thing. But I definitely want to get this grip stippled. Um, and I'm, I don't know. I want to have a stock Glock to carry and then I might be picking up another one to actually kind of do a build on. But... Yeah, I absolutely love that. And that's kind of what you can see um, as far as EDC. I don't really carry a flashlight um, or any other really like tactical stuff. Um, I did just pick up this Savage uh, 338 Lapua that actually was on Sunday. I kind of missed a Sunday gun day, but I'll be making a separate video of that later. But yeah, that kind of wraps up the EDC. If you guys have any questions about what I have or um, what I carry on a day-to-day -day basis, be sure to drop a comment below, smash that like button, and subscribe if you haven't yet. There'll be more videos about this to come. I do still plan on having more car content. I know my, my hobbies have shifted a lot recently. Um, one mainly being the, the firearms aspect. Um, they're both expensive hobbies, and, and that's just uh, the cards that I have been dealt, um, liking a lot, all of those things. Uh, but let me know if you liked it. Leave a comment. Uh, follow my Instagram at Bryce Lipfin, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. We'll see you.